It takes courage. It takes passion. It takes determination to make the ordinary extraordinary. It is the undying spirit of India that keeps the vision alive. The 12th South Asian Games epitomize this unwavering spirit. The Games, hailed as the best South Asian Games ever, initially met with a lot of skepticism. But it was the unaltered focus of the organizing team, which aimed at the target of smooth planning and execution, that they surpassed all odds. One can say that the organizers donned the avatar of Arjun, who despite all the challenges, hit right at the fisher's eye. Organization of games at Guwahati and Silang have proof that the Honorable Prime Minister's policy is not only lookies, but actis. It was barely a few months before the scheduled commencement date of the event that Guwahati and Shillong were chosen as the venues. These two densely populated cities with small roads, hectic traffic conditions, one airport, poor sports infrastructure and no games village made them an unconventional venue to host an international sporting event of this magnitude. Putting together this grand event was a mammoth task in itself. It demanded intense work and efficient execution. Twelve venues in Guwahati and six in Shillong were chosen to hold the 23 disciplines of the Games. Most of these venues required major upgradation and some had to be constructed right from the ground up. Despite the paucity of time, the undying willpower continued to deliver the best. Similar determined efforts helped to create world-class sporting infrastructure suitable for this mega international sports event. Work happened round the clock and in record time, all the venues were games ready. GPS fitted AC buses were provided by the respective state transport departments for monitoring the movements of the contingents and also ensured that they've reached the venues on time. And unprecedented security arrangements were mounted. Numerous companies of paramilitary forces were deployed at vantage points to make the security arrangements foolproof. To build the 12th South Asian Games as a brand, an intensive 360-degree campaign was launched to involve and engage the people. The adorable mascot, the playful tickle, soon caught the fancy of the people and became a much-loved figure. The Games Torch was yet another concerted effort that united the people of the Northeast. A part of the task that lay ahead was to promote the Games in the participating countries and to seek their maximum participation. Now, Afghanistan uh, had some difficulties and they were having some resource constraints and their participation became uh, doubtful. At that point in time, the government of India decided that government of India will uh, charter a flight and bring the Afghanistan contingent uh, because it is essential that every country in the region participates. Before coming here, I even didn't heard about Silong and Guwahati, but after coming here, it's very, uh, I have noticed that you have done a lot and all the venues here are very, very fine and very good. After months of rigorous activity, the curtain rose upon the grand sporting extravaganza. The efforts of various ministries of the government of India, state governments of Assam and Meghalaya and other key players with the support and guidance of the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi finally bore fruit and South Asian Games were declared open. And now, I declare the 12th South Asian Games open. What a moment. The Games have officially begun. The opening ceremony was a magnificent spectacle of color, culture and music coming together in unison to create harmony. Try to increase what fun.